Um, Evo Stick League Division 1 South Champions, how does that sound? So brilliant. Um, obviously that's a bit of a cliche but they ain't had time to sink in yet. You know, to, to, to how far we've come is, is beyond beyond belief. You know, in three years when we set up Lynch Walk, saying, you know, in the UCL, maybe we're in UCL 1, and maybe back where the club was, you know, before it, you know, tragically folded in all fairness, but, you know, it bounced back in three seasons and get nearly 300 points and FA Bar semi-finals and FA Trophy first we've ever been and FA Cup 4 qualifiers. Hey, I'm talking about three seasons here, not history. It's unbelievable, you know, to not typify Kings in the season really, you know, we, we didn't play great, we huffed and puffed, we conceded and you think we're dead and we come back and, and get a winner with Shane Tolley who's, you know, had his critics but, I mean, for me as a manager, what a player to be able to put on with sort of 20 minutes to go. Were your nerves getting a little bit frayed on the touch? Well, I thought that, that just looked like we'd run out of gas. That looked like we'd run out of, you know, the, 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 the game didn't get the better of us, but it looked like we put a lot into the game and got a real sucker punch with the goal. And that just looked like, we, you know, we was on the canvas. If we was a boxer, you'd say, you know, we, we're, we're out. But, you know, these, these players, and, and I'll allude to it again, the bench that we got and the squad that we got, you know, to be able to put Shane on, um, in that situation, him pop up and get the winner, you know, I'm, I'm delighted for the last How does this compare, or how does tonight compare, and the promotion compare with anything else in the junior football, yeah. as a player or manager? Yeah, that's right up there, I said the bunch before the game, this could be one of the biggest notes in my career, you know, I've won the conference, I've won League 2, I've played at Wembley, and this is right up there, you know, in, in, in the top echelons, this is, you know, as a manager, because you, you take all the stick, you take all the stick when it go wrong, and obviously you get the pats on the back when it go right, but you know, at the end of the day, the buck stops with you. You know, if we have a bad run of results, I get the sack. If we have good results, I get the pats on the back mainly. And you know, I'm always honest, and I, I say when we play well, and I say when we play bad. But you know, this I keep saying how special this group of players is, and you know, that's beyond belief. They never miss training. They come in. They work hard. They never moan. They never groan. They're disciplined, and they they go to the end. And you know, with you know, I'd love, love to read back over the year of some of the things that's been written about them because, you know, that's, that really is laughable sometimes. And, you know, I think with every critic that we've had this year, myself included, the players, everybody, you know, the chairman even, you know, we've, we're, we're here. We've proved everyone wrong. We've got to where we needed to be or where they was. And who knows where we can go from here. You just don't know. You know, we've got great support to get 1,900 on a Tuesday night. And it's, it's fantastic, unbelievable. Clubs dream about getting that sort of support. I mean, that's back to back promotions now. You know, as a manager, how far do you think you can now take the club? Now you've got up to step, you know, step three. Well, you know, I'll sit down with the chip to the chairman. You know, I, I believe a lot of these players, you know, a lot. That's difficult to, to say that, you know, we can go win the league because the standard is different. The standard is that, that is another notch up the non league ladder. And, you know, there's some big budgets out there and there's some big players playing at step three. And, you know, look, our chairman, our chairman will take it as far as we can go. You know, he'll he'll put the club at risk. Um, you know, and hopefully people people will come and watch, and we can we can get the players. You know, we we got luck. Well, not lucky. We we done well to have an FA Trophy run where I could go get the players in that I wanted. But you know, we certainly will be throwing massive money at it. We certainly will be um, we certainly will be putting the club at risk. We certainly will be putting the club at risk and. Um, you know, we'll take it as far as we can take it. You know, I ain't really thought about last year. Obviously, I'm always on the lookout for players. I'm always, I'm always, you know, working hard, and we'll we'll keep we'll keep doing it in the same way that we've done it over the last three years. Um, and obviously, finally, just a word on the, on on the chairman Buster, who's obviously delighted. Um, you say he's back you all the way. I mean, how how good has he been to you this season? Well, you know, at the end of last year, our two years in the UCL and not winning it, albeit with 209 points, he. He, he believed in me, you know, he, he was the one, you know, there was there was people, you know, the jury was out on me, there's no question about that, but he sees something in me, you know, I'm young, I'm still only 37, um, I'll do it for the, I'll do it for the love of the, of the football, I'm not on, not on astronomical wages by any stretch of the imagination, but the chairman's fair with me, um, and you know, I enjoy working for him, he's straight down the line, um, he says, he says it how it is, um, but every time I've gone to the man for a player, he's he's sometimes moaned and groaned. But 
he's always produced for me, and I think the chairman's got to take a massive pat on the back for the summer. <laughs>